Okay, so we're back into the Mythica VR. So today I want to talk about one of the really great feature and probably is the only, probably the, one of the only reason why you use Mythica VR to stitch stereo is the feature to stitch around your subject matter, the protect subject area using something called edge point. So in stereo, the edge point actually work kind of different from what you did in mono. So if you look around here, I already like, Put it in and out of the problem footage here but we can preview it right here so uh, on the keyboard go ahead and hit l which play forward and pay attention okay hit l again and pay attention to the a right here in my background and also the e right here If you hit K on the keyboard, it will stop the playback, but you clearly see the problem. So uh, the problem is not so obvious. So most of the time I would just not fix that. But again, if your client notice that and say, hey, what's going on here? Can you fix all that? Also, you can see my shoulder and the wall kind of blend together. Um, that is the typical optical flow jello effect. Um, that actually is even more obvious in the stereo mode. If you see, uh, if you hit R, go to right eye, um, you will see the same result and then it combined together will make the, make the effect worse. So, uh, we need to go ahead and fix that. So how to fix that is same idea of the edge point. You want to protect me when I'm go around, as you see, I'm go around the case right here. So one principal thing that you need to understand is, if you turn this into no stereo, kill this. So now I'm back to no stereo mode. So if this is a mono, is T is the lens, I am actually in the middle of the lens. So in mono, this whole area is a protective. So I should not have any jello effect uh, with optical flow. But in stereo, it's different. Stereo actually the save point is in between lens. So from lens C1 to C6. This area is actually save point, it's not this area, so it's the entire opposite from mono. So you gotta be careful that when you walk across like, um, let's say in between two lenses, it's good. But if you walk in front of the lens, it actually create general effect, it's just because the algorithm you use to calculate stereo. So after we clear about uh, in between the lens is actually the safe zone and facing the lens is actually the danger zone, uh, which is the stitch point in stereo, we go ahead and go into black and dub black and white view. Uh, in here, because I'm going around the case, so I'm going into this area and that's created a general effect on left eye. So on lens six, so if you go pick on this lens, what I need to do is go ahead and add an edge point stereo. If you add one, it's actually add between the, see, if I add one, the edge point is actually go between the uh, camera six and camera one, which is pretty important because that is actually connect. If you drag that, see that camera six and camera one connect together because when you want to move, you want to move left and right together. So to keep the stereo effect. So that is a really confusing concept, but you will get a hang of it because Mystica EVR already have the perfect UI that let you handle that. But in this theory behind it is whenever you move an edge point, you need to move both camera six and camera run. So uh, as you see, the problem is we need to go ahead and protect this area. So if you push over here, pay attention to how I'm moving. And then I should be protecting this entire area when I go across. Uh, go ahead and hit E to go to the left eye view. If I just show you. Problem. See, problem. Mm, cover. Okay, so uh, let's play back. So jump back in here and go ahead and just in the left eye because we see the problem in left eye view, right? So let's go ahead and hit L and just play the left eye. Pay attention in here. The problem is gone. And the most important part is when I actually go around, go around, hit the wall, keep going, keep going. 
perfect. So everything is actually, this general effect is entirely gone. So to be safe, I will switch in the right eye and just go back in here and see again the right eye. Let's go ahead and play it. Make sure also right eye have no jello. And as you see, right eye is also good. Pretty good. So we actually move the edge point stereo from between camera one and camera six to continue to protect. Or oh, actually, let's make sure that, as you see, like we still have stereo effect, but we also protect me from going across uh, and having the general effect. That's how you use this brand new edge point stereo feature to cut across and protect the actor you want to protect uh, in different scenario. So last thing I want to show you is render and output. I did not mention the tutorial one. Again, uh, if you uh, want to learn the basic about Mythica VR and how to stitch stereo footage in Mythica VR beta, you should check out the part one of this tutorial. This is part two. It's focused on how you correctly use edge point stereo. So uh, the last thing I want to mention is render. So go ahead, if that is what you want, you're happy about it, hit file, render, in here, uh, I usually render a QuickTime ProRes and the highest possible resolution, ProRes 444. In here, really important, you want to be top and bottom stereo. Uh, make sure that one of the track, I have audio right here, so it's in movie. And now you pick the location and hit render. And that, you're done. So, hopefully you like this tutorial series about Mythica VR. I will continue make more tutorial with Mythica VR why they pass the beta and come to official release in any new feature they come out in the future. So if you have any question and you want to learn any aspect of the software and how to stitch better, and if you run into any stitching problem and you want to uh, ask me, to go ahead and comment below. And again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. And I will see you next time.